Hello everyone, welcome to this milestone 4 introduction. So uh, for this video, we're going to check what we're going to do for this next milestone. As you know, and, uh, and uh, what I say in the last episode, we're going to work on the fact that now we want the user to create a new photo. So this is what we're going to do for this milestone. So, uh, so finally here, you're going to learn how to create a pre-signed URL using uh, uh, Amazon S3 and the uh, Elixir AWS library. So uh, the plan is going to be about, uh, we're going to work on the backend first. We're going to make use, uh, we're going to create a, a user in the Amazon uh, IAM and stuff like that. After that, we're going to install the library uh, EX AWS. We're going to create a pre-signed URL. We're going to get it from a query. After that, uh, inside the query, we're going to send the pre-signed URL plus the real URL. And finally, we're going to create a mutation in the front end. We can save the image with the URL after uh, the image has been uploaded using a XML request. And um, so here for the XML request, I think it's the most easy way to send an image from React Native. Uh, for the pre-signed URL, for those who don't know how that works, it's... Um, it's now you don't send with that you don't send your image to the back end and, and stuff like that what what happened it's your back end create a, a pre signed url finally a url who can be accessed uh, for like maybe a minute if you if you say like i want it to be just a minute and you use this url and you push your image right there so finally what happened it's amazon create uh, already like a file uh, who wait you to be to upload so it's almost like it's a put request. You put uh, the new image and you just override what they have uh, put there. And after that, you'll need to also have created the real URL because this present URL after a minute for us uh, gonna be a uh, delete and thing like that. So uh, that's gonna look like this. Here you have a, it's not a, it's a old one, but you're gonna see. So this is what we're gonna get from the uh, from the query, we're going to have, have an object pre URL. In this one, we're going to have a URL in the upload URL. Upload URL is going to be what we're going to push um, the, the the image to it. So as you can see, we see now that we push an image with the ID. So you see a zero blah, 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 point JPEG. And this ID is going to be the same when we have inside the real URL. So here is the real URL we're going to save in the database. So you see S3, Amazon.com, my app. We're going to put that as a beta. And now here we're going to have an ID plus G, uh, dot .jpg because it's going to be an image. And this upload URL here, as you can see, is the one who can expire. And uh, finally, it's this code here going to go inside your XML request. And now you can push your image to this uh this stuff so finally thing about thing about it's like uh, your backend give you a, a pass and you can enter it for this amount of time if you miss it you're gonna need to ask again another present url this way i think it's just much more secure because the backend keep all the secret all the key and everything like that and the front end don't care about that the front end don't even know what happened <laughs> you just get the present url and just do whatever we ask him to do so I think that can be pretty awesome and we're going to learn a lot and as you and you're going to see the XML request it's going to be pretty simple to send an image in React Native because I know a lot of people uh, didn't really know how to do this and they and they talk about like using blob and thing like that yes uh, I'm <laughs> go with that but I mean for me I think XML request it's much more simpler and you're going to see it's going to be almost 20 line of code so so I hope you enjoy, uh, you enjoy the series and um, I hope you're going to enjoy this uh, next part. So we're going to talk later. Bye.